Warning. The content of this show is the sole opinion of Dave's and guest, if any, and is not intended to ruffle your feathers. It is encouraged, however, that you leave a comment with a list of your own so that you may share your input on the topic. Any comment containing sour grapes will be deleted. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today on the list, we have a special guest today. We have Laurie from Laurie's Mishmash. <laughs> Very good. Today, we are going to be talking about our 10 favorite breakfast cereals of all time. Now, everyone knows from Laurie's channel, she does snacks and tracks. She's always eating late night junk. I can see a couple of packages of peeps in the corner over there behind oh, R2D2. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so this is right up her alley. Now, in my house, we grew up in a house where sugar cereals were the norm. There were four kids, and we all had our own specific cereal brand that we would eat. It would change over the years, and I've had many different favorites. However, this is going to be my favorites from all time. Now, how about you, Laurie, growing up? Actually, quite the same. My parents weren't really strict about the types of foods we ate, although my mom would call any cereal with sugar in it junk food cereal or junk cereal. So on Christmas, it would be special because she would wrap us our favorite junk cereal in wrapping paper for Christmas morning. And I always had mine. Same every year, and it's on my list. My sister had hers. My brother had his. Same with you guys. Excellent. And I don't, I don't think we ever evolved either. I think we all just pretty much stuck to those brands. Really? You, you didn't change cereals over the years? No. In fact, all the cereals I have, I believe, are still made to this day, the ones that are on my list. Well, I can tell you before 1980, I had three different cereals. So this list we have of our favorite breakfast cereals is going to be from 10 to 1. So the last one, number one, is going to be our all-time favorite. And number 10 is just a cereal we love. What is your number 10, Laurie? Uh, starting with number 10 is actually probably the healthiest cereal on my list, if you want to call it that. It's a cereal I tried when I thought I was dieting, uh, but then I looked it up and it actually, in three quarters of a cup, has 12 grams of sugar. So not that crazy. And that cereal is Kashi Golene Crisp in Toasted Berry. Not to be confused with Kashi Golene Crunch, which breaks all your teeth. Chris actually has a good chew to it. Hold on one moment. I thought I told you to tell her no healthy cereals. No, I said no healthy cereals. <laughs> it's okay. 12 grams of sugar and three quarters of a cup, Dave. 12 grams of sugar. That's like waving sugar under your nose. Yeah. Okay, yeah, for sure. mine number 10, it's a cereal that over time I always would go back to for the variety of it. Not because I love it, but I did enjoy it, but for the sheer variety, and that is Frosted Krispies. It's <sighs> Rice yeah. Krispies with like a sugar glaze all over it. It is <laughs> delicioso. My number nine favorite cereal of all time is Frosted Flakes with Marshmallows. Now this is a newer cereal. I love Frosted Flakes. And this type of cereal is not only good with milk, but it's good dry just as a snack. Number nine for me is Cinnamon Toast Crunch by General Mills. Not a huge go-to for me. That's why it's nine on the list. And it's fairly new, I would say. I don't remember ever seeing that as a kid. So when it I say around, I think in the eighties, good cereal, 30 years old, as opposed to 40 years old, <laughs> but it's good. It's got, you know, a great cinnamon texture to it, a little chewy and not as crisp as I like my cereal. It sogs up fast, um, but a great sugary cinnamony something. My number eight cereal is not a general Mills cereal. Like my number two, it's a Kellogg cereal and it's Apple Jacks. Kind really? of plain. Yeah. I mean, kind of plain, you know, it's a toss-up between Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks, only because it's so easy to get. You can get the king size or the family size. And I like the little dots that are in the orange ones, and it tastes like apples and makes your milk a little color. Whatever, number eight is Apple Jacks. Go on. 
<laughs> well, let me just say this. For me, Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks are packing material. If I have to send, like, say somebody a mug, I'm going <laughs> to fill that box up with Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks as to protect the goods. I um, yeah, not a favorite of mine. I will say my number eight is pretty obvious because I just brought it up. Frosted Flakes, the good old tried and true. Tony the Tiger, a little thorough Ravencroft there. They're great. No, they're fantastic. It's good in milk. It's good plain. It's just great. It's a tried and true great cereal. So number seven for me currently is a seasonal cereal. Although back in the day, it was part of a much bigger group of cereals and it was around all year round. I am, of course, speaking of the marshmallowy goodness of Count Chocula. Ooh. Count Chocula was always my favorite of the horror themed marshmallow cereals. And I love it to this day. I still think it's good. Not really that chocolatey. It's kind of like a milk chocolate flavor as opposed to a dark chocolate flavor. Sure. <laughs> Actually, Count Chocula was my sister Lisa's junk cereal for Christmas. My number seven, speaking of chocolate, is Cocoa Puffs. Really? I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs every now and then. Now, wasn't there a cereal called Crazy Cow that was like Cocoa Puffs but more chocolatey? It was actually the purpose of the cereal was to turn your milk into chocolate milk. Right. You know what? I remember a strawberry Crazy Cow. There was a strawberry version. Excellent. Yes, there was. Which, you know what? That should have been on my list, but I didn't remember it until you just brought it up. So I there have you to... go. But Cocoa Puffs is, you know, Cocoa Puffs is Cocoa Puffs. You're crazy for Cocoa Puffs. I'm cuckoo. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's what it was. Thank you. <laughs> Number six on my list is a cereal that you mentioned, and I had a big smile when you mentioned it. And I haven't had it in a long time, and I'm not even sure if it's out there. It's Frosted Krispies. I love now, them. Now, I... You know what? I don't like Cocoa Krispies. I mean, Cocoa Krispies are okay because I like the cocoa. Regular Rice Krispies, boring unless you pour some sugar all over it mm -hmm. and then add Agreed. like five bananas, which you don't like because you're allergic to. But I used to eat bananas in it when I was a kid. Oh, you did? Yeah. But Frosted Krispies yeah, have that yummy sugary coating on it. My number six cereal comes to you all the way from the town of Bedrock. It is Cocoa Pebbles, Ooh. an absolute wonderful cereal of chocolate crunch and cutting the inside of your mouth. It is just great. I thought you were going to say Fruity Pebbles, uh, but Cocoa Pebbles, and then you said they're crunchy. The Fruity Pebbles, I know, I haven't had Cocoa Pebbles in a while, but the Fruity Pebbles get soggy and then they stick to the bowl and then you can't get it off it's like glue so what do you think it's doing to your gut not that i'm on to talk with the list that i have in front of me okay continue my number five is fruity pebbles oh how's your insides <laughs> you couldn't pick anything else out of everything in the world all right i love those two cereals like you could be to me it's like i could go down the aisle and flip a coin fruity or cocoa more times than not, I will select Fruity Pebbles. That's why I edged it out. Okay. Well, it's funny because most of the time when I'm shopping for cereal, I'm shopping for my son. And if I prefer the chocolate, I know he prefers the fruity. So I have to get the fruity. So that's my high breaker. But neither are on my list, surprisingly. Number five on my list, again, is something that you chose early on in your list. And it's Frosted Flakes with Marshmallows. Wow. All yes. right. And similar, again, similar type list. Yeah, the Frosted Flakes are great, but you throw some marshmallows in any cereal and it becomes one of my favorites. Agreed. So it's an elevation of a cereal. Absolutely. Okay, number four on my list, and I'm not sure if it's Kellogg's or General Mills, is Oops All Berries, as opposed to Captain Crunch Berry or just Captain Crunch. Now, Captain Crunch is just the yellow cereal, no berries. Then they came out with Captain Crunch Berries, and you were surprised again, and it elevated it just like a marshmallow would. But then they come out with, oops, it's all berries. And hello, why would you even bother with the regular Captain Crunch ever again when you have all berries? May I? You may. The Captain Crunch part of the cereal 
is the good part. The second you call it Oops All Berries, you now have tricks without the rabbit. (laughs) I have to disagree because the Oops All Berries are fatter. Tricks are smaller. And then tricks went crazy and started making them into the shape of the real fruit instead of a circle. Honestly, they, I sh- they should have made a commercial silly rabbit tricks for kids, but he has a box of Oops All Berries. It's the same effing thing. I disagree. My number four is a cereal that was probably my number one for the longest. And that is a cereal, once again, and is the last of my cereals that have marshmallows. But that is Lucky Charms. Mm. Awesome cereal. Just great. The toasted oats, the marshmallows. Now, for a while, they came out with just the marshmallows of Lucky Charms. Yep. Yep. And I believe they sold that very limited, and Wilfred Brimley came out to deliver it to you. (laughs) Enjoy your diabetes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so true so true but i have to say again who wants the oats you end up eating all the marshmallows and all you have left in your bowl is the lucky charm oats floating around it's like having cheerios it's nasty my number three is a cereal again probably one of the greatest cereals of all time in fact I think it's the greatest cereal that's still in production because my number two and number one are not in production anymore. But uh-huh. number three, voiced by Dawes Butler, <laughs> my cereal's part of a nutritious breakfast, is Cap'n Crunch. Mm. No wonder why you didn't like me ripping on it when I did Oops All Berries. Yeah, it's the best cereal. Captain Crunch made your number three. I didn't say Captain Crunch. I said the correct pronunciation of the cereal, which is Cap'n Crunch. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, why? Why do they do that? I just don't think they had enough room in the box. That's the name of the cereal. It's Cap'n Crunch. Because they had no room to write the whole word. They got lazy. Great cereal. One of the best. (laughs) I I will say this about Cap'n Crunch. I cannot eat a bowl of it. I will have to finish the box. And I will say, if you were my son you and my current son, Cameron, would be fighting over cereals because you're naming all his favorites. And he eats the whole box at once as well. Yeah, you have to. Now, as far as a cereal goes for having something without a berry or without a marshmallow, I will agree with you that Cap'n Crunch is kind of okay because it's not oaty, it's buttery. But that didn't make my list, so I digress. My number three is Frankenberry. Only comes out now at Halloween. You see the Frankenberry, the Booberry, and the Count Chocula all in the same aisle at the end of the shelf rack. Now, and occasionally, it's... don't they put out Fruit Brute? Who? <laughs> Fruit Brute. Brute by Fabergé? Fruit Brute was the werewolf character. Oh, God. And that, was, that started in the 70s. And before it was Fruit Brute, it was called <laughs> Yummy Mummy. Well, you know more than me about my number three cereal on my list. But I like Frankenberry with the original Frankenstein character on there because he looks like he's from the steampunk generation. (laughs) So we're getting close to our number one. Yes, we are. Number two on my list, keeping with the Halloween theme and the seasonal cereal, is Booberry. Really? Same as Frankenberry, except it's blue with a blueberry flavor. But you know what's funny is when it comes to the cereals like Cocoa Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles, you like Cocoa Pebbles. Anytime it's fruit and cocoa, you're saying cocoa, except for the marshmallow cereals where it's Count Chocula, you're like, nope, strawberry and blueberry. I'll take blueberry and, and Frankenberry. I think, you know, I do like Count Chocula, but it's chocolate cereal with chocolate marshmallows. It's just overkill. Whereas Cocoa Puffs is just one chocolate thing. I'm more of a strawberry vanilla type of girl, even when it comes to my ice cream. All right. Oh, I like vanilla ice cream better than chocolate. Yes. Although it has to have chocolate chips in it and jimmies on top. Sprinkles for the rest of the country. Sprinkles. (laughs) My number two is a cereal that no longer is in existence. And it is a cereal called Vanilla Crunch. Now, Vanilla Crunch was a vanilla-flavored Cap'n Crunch cereal from the 70s. 
It was introduced in 1970 with Sea Dog as the mascot <laughs> who was there with Cap'n. And later it became Wilma the White Whale was the mascot for Vanilli Crunch. A fantastic cereal. I loved this cereal. Now, this cereal, it was like I couldn't just eat one box. Fantastic cereal. One of the all-time greats. There are some websites online you can find that where people are petitioning to bring it back. And Dave Levine's on that petition. I'm on every one of them. <laughs> and with cereal like that, Dave, it's no wonder you're in Husky Toddlers in junior high. I, you sold her the husky toddler joke? <laughs> All right. So now, folks, we are to the number one favorite cereal of all time. My number one is a cereal that was introduced in 1972 by the Ralston Purina Company. Ooh. You heard correctly. It was discontinued in 1976. There were seven different characters on it. There was always toy prizes in it that had those animals, but the cereal was called Freakies, and it was a malted cereal that was just so good. I still think about it today, <laughs> as if it were yesterday, sitting down at my breakfast table and enjoying a large <laughs> bowl of Freakies. You're a freak. What is that? <laughs> Freakies. I think that was discontinued before I was born. I love Freakies. Freakies was a great cereal. I wouldn't have thought it was discontinued in 76, but I will say this. That's about the time when I picked up Vanilla Crunch. Oh. Well, I've never heard of Freakies, so I hope they bring it back so I can try it. Uh, uh, there's another petition for that as well, and I'm on several lists. Excellent. My number one is a cereal that... I can't say it's my favorite cereal of all time because I just tried it two days ago. My number one is... Peeps cereal. <laughs> oh, you're loving it. This was just given to me a couple of days ago. I think it's new. It's from Kellogg's. I love my Peeps, as you know. And it tastes like peeps. There's marshmallows and circled cereal, like Fruit Loops shapes, but they taste like marshmallows. I'll even show you. Oh, oh I see. Oh, okay. The marshmallows and like Fruit Loop type things. Yeah. Oh, so good. So this is my number one for this year. Wow, very good. Thanks. Thought so too. All, <laughs> all right, folks. Well, that's the list. I'm going to post the list one more time so you can see the choices that Laurie and I have made. Please comment below what your top 10 cereals of all time were. We would love to see that because maybe there are some we haven't tried yet. Absolutely. <laughs> Laurie, I want to thank you for doing this with me on the list. Thank you, Dave, for having me. And uh, as always, everybody, very good. Very good.